Good morning, Year 8. What a fantastic um, amount of you that are on here. I can currently see that we have got 45 pupils on with us and the number is rising. I hope you're all doing well. You can see all your teachers on the screen. Let's all give them a wave. Hi. Welcome to your Year 8 Achievement Assembly. And to start with, we are going to play you a video. How are you all? I hope you're all well and we enjoy, you enjoyed our video. It gives us great pleasure to welcome you to your end of year awards ceremony. It's been a really eventful year, full of highs and lows. Some of you have made really good progress and we're really proud of you. We hope you enjoy the assembly, <coughs> excuse me, and you continue to perform to the best of your ability. If you have any messages or any comments, please type them in the question box below and we will, we will address them at the end of the assembly. Joining us Sorry, the here. Sorry Mrs. Nash. You Go ahead, Mick. Oh, I was gonna say, as it says here, take your seats and enjoy the show. Joining us for this assembly is Mrs. Horman. and all our form tutors. And from our pastoral team, we have Miss Rauchy and Mr. McLeod. All of these teachers have a very spe special message for you today, but to start us off, please let's welcome Mrs. Horman. Thank you, Mrs. Tansley, and good morning. Uh, here we are again, year I gathered to celebrate this year and also to give thanks to your teachers and to your friends for supporting you through this year. A warm welcome, we have some parents uh, who have joined us this morning as well. So today we're going to celebrate the memories of this year and also the successes. So I'm very, very proud and honored this morning to be part of your second uh, secondary school summer celebration assembly. And I hope that year eight will continue to drive through with their passion and their determination into year nine and of course beyond. Now I shall hand you over to Miss um, Tansley. <laughs> Mrs. Nash today. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Nash, do you apologize? Sorry. The first set of awards are for your subjects. Your teachers here have awarded the students who have achieved fantastically in their subjects. With all the awards, you will receive an e-certificate. If you'd like a hard copy of your certificate, please let us know when we go back to school in September. So, without further ado, let the ceremony commence. Okay, here we go. So our first award is for English. In each, each subject, we have two students who have been um, awarded for that subject area. And for English, the award goes to Oliver in 8O and Ania in 8B. Congratulations, you two. The next subject we have is Maths. And the awards go to Vasily in 8B. Congratulations. And Samia in 8B. E, well done to you. The next award is for science. And the awards go to Elisa in 8M and Daniel in 8M. Congratulations, you two. And finally, from me, I have geography, and the two awards go to 
Neve in 8B and Constantine in 8F. Over to you, Mrs. Nash. The awards for history, they go to Arania in 8F and George in 8M. Well done. In PE, well done to Constantina in 8F and Daniel in 8I. In drama, well done to George in 8M and Beth also in 8M. And the last one from me for now, in music, well done to Naima in 8B and Beth in 8M. And from ICT, the awards go to Oliver in 8O and Patrick also in 8O. Well done, you two. For Ari, the two awards go to Perez in 8R and Yusuf in 8I. Congratulations. For PHSE, the awards go to Gotchi in 8R and Brianna in 8O. Well done, you two. For design and technology, the awards go to Angelo in 8E and Ania in 8B. And in art, the two awards go to Emily in 8I and Vasily in 8B. Mrs. Nash? Thank you very much. Awards are for Spanish. They go to. Hamza in 8E and Vasily in 8B. In Latin, very well done to Oliver in 8O and Nicole in 8B. And our last subject award is EAL. Very well done to Elisa in 8F and Emanuela in 8O. I'm now going to pass you over to Ms. Vouchy and Mr. McLeod, who have a few words to say to you. Good morning, Year 8. So, Mr. McLeod and I have really, really enjoyed catching up with you all over these last three or four months, particularly hearing about how you've all kept yourselves busy. Some of you have learnt to cook and now regularly cook for the family once a week at least. You've discovered, some of you, that you actually quite enjoy cleaning your rooms, mostly because you can find things. <laughs> some of you have learned to play a new instrument, one of you a guitar, another the piano. And some of you, because we're not all into jogging and exercising, have rediscovered how good it is to just sit back and read a good book. You have all, in one way or another, in this really difficult time, been brilliant. You've just pulled up your socks and got on with it. I don't know that Mr. McLeod and I would have done half as well as you have. We're all really looking forward to seeing you again in September. And who knows, if you come and find us, maybe at lunchtime, perhaps we could catch up in person. Until then, please continue to stay safe and well. I'll hand you back now. And yeah, I'm, I too am looking forward to seeing you in September. Keep up the good work. And now I'm going to hand you over back to Miss Tansley. Thank you very much. Now the next set of awards are from your form tutors. Before I do that though, if you have a look in the control panel on your webinar, you will see that you can type a question. Now, if you have a question for any of us to do with this assembly, you can type that in. But also, if you've got a message for anyone else in the year group, you'd like us to do a shout out in your achievement assembly, pop that in and I'll be able to read it out to everybody at the end of the assembly. OK, so back to our PowerPoint. And what we have now is our Form Tutor Award. So let's start with AB and Miss Hadji. Hi, 8B. I hope you're all well. It's been long. I've missed you all. It's been wonderful to have you as my form this year. I'm proud to say that all of you are polite, kind and respectful young people. All of you have contributed actively in form activities 
engage from engaging positively in cost discussions to working together in groups to lead research lead cross assemblies all of you have of some of you have overcome your fears of leading a class assembly um, everyone in the form deserves an award for being excellent members of the form however i've only been asked to select two people for the form award so without further ado the first form award goes to naima uh, you are always willing to research and learn new things and share with the form and take on board ideas and opinions of others. The second award goes to Tristan. You are always well organized, willing to help others, and are a respectful. You are respectful to the ideas and opinions of all members of the forum. So I I hope to see you all next year as year nine B. Sorry. I passed so to Miss Good morning, Atar. Um, I've missed you so, so much. I um, didn't think I'd be saying that. No, I'm joking. You all know how fabulous you've been. Um, thank you for welcoming me, me, me as your form tutor. Um, I know I didn't start off the year with you guys, but it's been an absolute privilege. Um, and I'm, yeah, it's been a great honor being your tutor. Each of you have, I've seen you've grown um, in the last few months, even so, even from your work as individuals. You all are strength in numbers, and I hope um, and I wish you all the best for year nine. Um, it has been very difficult for me to think of which two students, because if I had it my way, I would have loved to have ordered you all. I'm sure all of us as tutors would all love to give you all achievement, um, achievement um, awards. But um, the two that I have chosen um, is Fikrie, and um, that's for her always being helpful. Um, her translation skills have been absolutely excellent and her use of language and um, English vocab has grown and the second award goes to Amari um, for coming into our form shoot quite late but have been absolutely have been absolutely brilliant and you've all welcomed him open arms I look forward to seeing you guys as year nine keep safe and I'll see you guys soon thank you and now Mr Habad I hope you have enjoyed your absence from the school in a way, because when you have victims, you always try to make the most of, of your situation. Um, I remember when I took you from year seven, when you were little scared creatures. Now you have all grown up to a very mature young people. Um, I hope you and your families uh, are safe and well. Um, I've been asked to choose only two people from the many wonderful uh, year eight students that we have in the form. And I looked at who served the form most to be able to choose only two from the many. And um, I'm sure you will all agree that uh, the two that serve our form most are Rona and Alfred. Now I, I look forward to seeing you year nine when you open up. Year nine is a very important year in the academic uh, schooling time. Um, it's the year where you decide what you're going to do in the future for year 10 and 11, because that's when you choose your options. And Everything that you choose for in year nine, for year, year 10 and year 11, will take you further to um, colleges mm -hmm. and universities. So that's where you need to decide. So we need to think uh, in the next few weeks um, what we're going to do. I will tell you a little bit more future when we meet in September. Now I pass uh, to Ms. Nash. Hello, 8M. Now, Mr. Shannon couldn't be with us today, but he has sent me a few words just to say to you on his behalf. He wanted to thank you for being a really, really supportive form group. He's enjoyed being with you every morning. He's enjoyed watching you grow as individuals and as a team. He loves how you all support each other and how you're there for each other in times of trouble. And he couldn't ask for a better form group. So with that in mind, he has nominated Christina and Daniel. So very well done to the both of you. He's really proud. 
And I'm going to hand you over to Mr. Chetty. Good morning to HF. It's been a real pleasure to teach you over this past two years and really, you know, thrilled about the politeness and the responsiveness from you people. And uh, certainly we do miss you. And you'll be going on to another year, year nine. And we know it's been very difficult for you. Despite that, many of you have been doing your Google Classroom, which is very welcome. And uh, I've been placed with the unenviable task of selecting two students uh, from a lot of close to 30. And it's quite a difficult task. If it were up to me, I would probably give everyone uh, a reward. And, uh, you know, you would all have had this achievement as um, tutor, for the tutor class. But nevertheless, um, being such as it is, we have uh, been forced to select two people based on um, how you've conducted yourself throughout the year. And I'm glad to say that, Miss, you may want to. Uh, Ms. Tansley, you may want to, yes. Oranya is one of them, and this is based on a very delightful disposition she has, and she's done extremely well, exceedingly well, actually, from uh, reports from all other teachers. And as you can see, she's um, been able to win a lot of awards from other teachers. Uh, well done to you, Oranya. And then I've got Constantina also. Uh, really fantastic this well. Both of you have been fantastic reading fantastic really well on the Google Classroom and you've been writing excessively for all the subjects so based on that as well you two have come up trumps but the rest of the class I must say you are also winners in some small way as well so once again uh, thank you for me allowing me to be a form tutor and uh, may you have a nice well-deserved rest not that you haven't been wrestling, I'm sure you have over the COVID crisis, but we now we legitimately go into holiday from Friday. So have a nice rest and hope to see you next year. Thank you very much. Ms. Morris, Ms. A Mrs. Adam. Hello, Year 8. Um, hello, 8i. We've uh, missed you an awful lot over these past lockdown weeks. Um, we're really looking forward to seeing you in September and carrying on with our fun. You're a really fun form tutor group. You ask lots of questions. You really engage yourselves in the topics of the time. And I'm sure you're doing that at home as well. So well done to all of you. We do have to choose between, uh, uh, well, we need to choose two of you today. So I'd like to present the award today for Amy, and to Haiyan. So well done you two. You've been really, really focused members of the group, really responsible in your areas. Um, I will totally trustworthy. So really well done and um, take care. We hope that all the form group are really, really safe and happy at home. Lots of love and we'll see you in September. Goodbye. Hey, uh, Mrs. Morris, did you want to say a word? Yeah, um, AI, it's been um, really lovely being your form tutor this year as well. Um, as Ms. Adams said, you're a really fun group. And, you know, we've had lots of laughs, lots of great form times together. And I've particularly enjoyed when you guys have taken over the form and done your own little presentations for everyone. There's been some real highlights for me. You're a really friendly and tight knit bunch. And it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful summer. Okay, and um, finally we have 8E. Now, unfortunately, Mr. McFarlane couldn't be here today, so I'm going to talk on his behalf. He's asked me to let you know that he hopes you will have a fantastic summer, and he'd like to thank you for being such an amazing form class. I would echo his thanks as well. You guys are a brilliant group of people. And again, he didn't really know how to choose just two, but here they are. So the awards for 8E go to Sophia and Angelo. Well done you two guys. Okay, back to you Mrs Nash. Thank you Mrs Tansley. <laughs> now we move on to our achievement points. Now achievement points are rewarded for a number of reasons. 
from doing excellent work, from helping around the school, from uh, proceed from getting your target grade or exceeding target grades and taking part in school projects. So there's lots and lots of different ways for you to get achievement points. This year, I was so proud to see how many achievement points you all achieved. It was it was really really impressive. You are such a great year group. You're so helpful. You work so hard, and it was it was just really really mind blowing. However, only three people can achieve this award. So it gives me great pleasure to tell you that the Three people with the highest amount of achievement points this year were Sita, Bessart, and Yusuf. We're all so proud of you as a year group and within the school. It's a fantastic achievement, so very, very well done. And the next award is the Achievement Directors Award. Now, Mrs. Nash, I mean, we've got 171 pupils in our year group. We could have given it to all of them, do you think? Um, almost, 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 almost all of them. So we had to choose just two people, two people who we feel have worked hard all year round, who have really shown a passion for what they do. They're um, they're achieving on their target grades or above their target grades, and they're just generally a really, really nice person to have around school. Always helpful, looking out for each other and really being the right kind of role model that we'd like from our year eight cohort. And we could have given it to more than two students. However, the two that we have chosen are Daniel from 8i and Arania from 8f. Congratulations, you two. Each of you, along with your certificates, you're going to receive by email an e-voucher for something to spend over the summer. Congratulations. Now our next award is for the Jack Petchy Award. The Jack Petchy Foundation was set up to inspire and motivate young people across London and Essex. It was set up to help you realize and reach your full potential. The winner of this award gets 250 pounds to spend within, their within the department with which they've won it. Now you were nominated by teachers, so it really, really is a huge honor to have won this award. So this year, the winners of the Jack Petchy Award go to Tasnim, for her dedication to science and geography and this is a very familiar name to Arania for being an excellent student and always persevering with her work this is a really fantastic achievement and well done to both of you so now i'm going to pass you to mrs horman to announce the next set of awards Sorry, thank you, Mrs. Nash. Right, the next set of awards are for punctuality. No, sorry, they're for the house system. Now, we know our house system has gone from strength to strength, and I'm really happy to see so many of you uh, participating in the Google Classroom house uh, competitions as well. So not only have we been participating when we were in school, we were also doing it online, and that's really fantastic to see. So we've built up quite a lot of house points, and I'd like to announce uh, now the following winners for each house that have actually achieved the most house points. So for Dalton House, the award goes to Angelo and 8E. Well done, Angelo. The house award for Newton House goes to Constantina. Fantastic and well done, Constantina. The award for Anning House goes to Sanier. Well done and fantastic, Sanier. And of course, the Franklin Award goes to Beth in 8M. So well done to all of those pupils that have actually led for their houses and they are on the forefront of, of uh, collecting those achievement of points that then are converted into house points. So of course, what does the school board look like if we look at our houses? In fourth place for this year, we have Newton House. Well done, Newton. And in third place, we have Franklin. Well done, Franklin. And in second place, we have Anning, and therefore our winners this year for our house system is Dalton House. And really big congratulations to Dalton. A well done to Dalton House and everybody that is a member of Dalton House. 
So the next set of awards will be for punctuality. Now we know punctuality is very important and the pupils whose names appear on the board now are the pupils who actually have got no legs to school. Not only does this look good on your record, it's also very important when once again you get to year 11, you are applying for your colleges because punctuality actually goes a long way and says a lot about you. So well done to these pupils who have achieved fantastic 100% punctuality. Our next set of awards is of course for attendance. Similar to punctuality, attendance also plays a very big role, number one, in uh, your applications to colleges. And not only that, it also says a lot about you, your commitment and dedication to learning and your attitude. So the bronze awards, a lot of names here, uh, goes to the pupils who have had 100% attendance for the time period that's that's noted on this slide. And not only will you receive your certificate, of course, also your badges. So on entry back in September, please come to the office to collect your bronze badges that would like to see you wear with pride on your blazer lapel. The next set of attendance awards is for silver. Now silver, is just uh, a, an award that is uh, given to the pupils who have two full terms of 100% attendance. So that is really outstanding, really fantastic. And that once again, you're right, there are so many names on this board and it just shows you the whole attitude of year eight as such a fantastic year group. So well done. Again, on entry, you will receive your silver badges when you return in September. And of course, the top award, is our gold award. Now there's a lot of names on this board and this is really a very special award because all the pupils on this board have achieved 100% attendance for the whole year. So it's a fantastic achievement and really well done to you. And once again, please collect your gold attendance award badges on entry in September. Now, without further ado, I will hand you back to Mrs. Tansley and Mrs. Nash to conclude your fantastic assembly today. Thank you, Mrs. Foreman. Year eight has been brilliant. You have worked so hard this year and so many of you have received awards. And even if you didn't receive an award, that doesn't mean that you didn't deserve one. It just meant we didn't have enough awards and maybe next year will be your year. So we wanna thank you for joining us, taking the time to see us and spend the time with us. I'm going to go to Mrs. Tansley and she's going to have a look at the messages that you've sent and we'll do um, read some of those out for you. But until September, I will see you soon. OK, so we do have one question that says, when do we get our certificates? Um, we did say this right at the very beginning. What will happen is your certificate will be emailed out to you in due course. And of course, if you would like a hard copy of that certificate, when we're back in school in September, we can organise for that to be printed out for you, for you to take it home and look after it safely at home. Um, apart from that, let me have a look. So bear with me. I'm just trying to. Um, I, someone has, uh, here we go. I just worked out how to do this now. Um, so someone has commented, Miss Chetty, have you had a haircut? <laughs> Do you want to answer that, Mr. Shetty? I, I do have haircuts quite often, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, want to make it I have had a question. Someone wants to know, are we going back into school in September or are we going online? And the answer is that we are very much hoping to have you back in school in September. We're just working through making sure that school is as safe as it can be for every pupil and every member of staff in the school. And Mr. Travis will be sending some information out as soon as possible to let you know what the plans are for September. Mrs. Holman, is there anything you want to add to that? Or do you think that's answered that question? Uh, 
No, I think it's answered that question well. And uh, don't forget year eight as well. On top of that, those of you who are up to date with Google Classroom, well done. There will certainly be some extension work set for the summer. So have a look out, uh, literally still until Friday. And those of you who've been struggling, actually not getting everything done, use this time over the summer to catch up. So by the time we get back in September, we kind of all feel like we're ready to get back to school. Fantastic, thank you. And one of the questions we've also had is, will we have work to do over the summer? And the answer is to go back to your Google Classroom and make sure that all the work that's been set for you by your various teachers is up to date. Uh, let me see. Lots of people saying they're so happy that they got an award, which is lovely. Uh, you will find out who your year nine teachers will be when you get your timetable in September. Uh, we will be using Google Classroom for homework in September. We're going to hope to keep using it somehow and we'll let you know when you come back to school how that's going to work and what that's going to look like. And does this mean that school is finished? School is finished on Friday. So you've got, uh, what's today, Wednesday? <laughs> you've got two, three, four days to get everything up to date as much as you possibly can. I think we're going to leave it there, Mrs. Horman and Mrs. Nash. Thank you so much to everyone that has come to, to the Achievement Assembly today. It's been an absolute pleasure seeing all the form tutors on here and knowing that there are 68 uh, of Year 8 pupils online right now. Um, thank you very much, form teachers. You've worked fantastically hard with your form groups throughout the year. I know I can speak on behalf of all of us and to thank you for all the amazing work here eight you've done this year. Having a really enjoyable holiday and I look forward to seeing you in September as the new year nines. Have a lovely summer. Let's say bye-bye, everybody. Well done, year eight. Well done. And... Um.